that for you as well. It's the day of the NFL draft, three days. Baylor has a nine, ten players, ten players who are draft eligible. Probably six or seven get drafted, and the other ones have a very good chance of being a part of a camp. Craig, you've been studying them. I know, Paul, you've been studying them as well. There is a slight chance, I was on the Big 12 radio network earlier today, about Jalen Petrie. Some have said he'll sneak into the first round. Probably not, but there are going to be what's between five to six or seven players drafted this weekend. Yeah, uh, draft eligible. I guess they technically have more than 10 if you count every guy who participated at Pro Day, but uh, realistically they have eight guys uh, that could get drafted. Um, no more, um, no less. Uh, I don't know that all eight will get drafted. Um, I think the safer number is probably six. Um, if I were to, you know, hey, you got to go to Vegas and put down a bet on how many guys you got to nail it, I'd, I, it's, I think it's fuzzy. I think it could be six. I think it could be seven. I think it could be all eight. But I, I think six would probably be fair. And, hey, that'd be a hell of a haul. I mean, that's just about as good as they've ever had in the modern era of the draft. I think maybe in 2015, 16, that era, uh, that, that uh, area they had like six guys one year. Uh, but no, it's a very interesting group. I think there's actually not only guys that can get drafted, but actually stick around, uh, which has not always been the case with the guys who do get drafted. So uh, yeah, they got a prime opportunity to really reload their NFL ranks and add you know five plus guys and five plus guys that you hope all can make rosters and, and actually play and and be uh be a part of the mix so yeah it's gonna be a big weekend for baylor football and you know you look ahead at next year and you don't you know there's not a Jalen Petrie that immediately comes to mind, but they got guys like Apu Ika and, and some of those types of players that you know that will continue to refill the uh refill the stocks but yeah this is a big draft for Baylor uh, this is a class that's been through it all uh, the Jalen Petries Terrell Bernards Tyquan Thornton's you know everything from uh, in Petrie's case like all of the fallout from the scandal and then for everybody else you know coming in with Matt Rule and you know basically getting your heads kicked in for a little while and then turning it around and beating up people and then you know, getting your heads kicked in again in the COVID year and then turning around and winning the Big 12 title. So these guys are well-traveled. And, yeah, I'd, I'd say there's about eight guys. I wrote an article for Sikkim 365 today that you could really keep your eye on and that have strong hopes. But uh, could be more – I mean, excuse me, could be a little less. But either way, all eight of those guys are going to sign as undrafted free yeah. agents at worst. 32 teams get to pick tonight. No, not really. There's 32 picks tonight. Not all 32 teams have a first-round pick. Some have multiple picks. No, I think six teams don't have a first-round pick because of all the teams that have – have uh, multiple first round picks. I think it's six. Uh, but I feel, I mean, Jalen Petrie's a lock to get drafted. Terrell Bernard's a lock to get drafted. Tyquan Thornton's a lock to get drafted. Abram Smith's a lock. Um, JT Woods. JT Woods is a lock. And, and now Kalen Barnes is probably a lock so that's like uh, to six. get drafted. So that's six right there. Leaves uh, you with Xavier Newman Johnson, who could or could not. He'd be a late round guy. And Tristan Ebner, yeah. who's been kind of quiet. So that, that's your group right there. Yeah. So I would think, I think, and I think, I think I would be comfortable saying seven and, you know, flip a coin between those two especially with Treston Ebner being such a good kick returner that's a that's a seventh round pick right there where you say all right well especially if a team's had crappy kick returns for for years like well we might as well use a seventh round pick look for teams especially if he has been drafted when the seventh round starts if there's a team with three or four picks in that round compensatory stuff that's probably where he's going to wind up because he's he's going to start as a special teamer full-time and think about that getting trust and ebner possibly in like the seventh round yeah. i think that would be ridiculous I, so yeah. i think that he may get drafted maybe in the sixth round before that um but yeah if he were to fall through the cracks you know, I did make mention that if you're Xavier Newman Johnson or a Tristan Ebner, who right now seem like the best candidates to probably be the last ones waiting, and, and you know, you never know how the draft goes. So there could be other guys that slide as well into that into that group. Although, I don't know. I think JT Woods and you know Petrie and all them are pretty surefire. But uh, you know, when you do get to that point, you almost though don't want to get drafted. And you know, I can imagine Tristan Ebner if somehow that were to happen, where somebody doesn't take a flyer on him. Uh, I think he'd have his phone ringing off the hook with teams, and the good part about that would be that uh, he could pick where he wants to go and would probably get better money than being a sixth or seventh round pick. So he'll be fine, like no matter what happens is my point, and, and so will Xavier Newman. But, hey, if, if all eight of those guys get drafted, that'd be pretty awesome. Hall of Fame line.